Don't Fall Hurry there, number 86. Who I saw last night doing his best morning for Speedway at Nina Arena, Arena Racing. Around the turn he comes in. 86 it is. Paul Hurry starts his flying lap. Speedway, like I said last night at Arena Essex, I didn't exactly tally up his score, but uh, he was consistently riding there all evening, and uh, I wonder whether he would actually be here this afternoon or at Rye House with Arena Essex. But we are great with his presence, and he's in full flight. He comes out of that turn, he's really got that motor singing. Crosses the line on the flying lap. And a flying lap time, very creditable there, of 23.28 seconds. 23.28 seconds for Paul Hurry. The Banks then leaves the line and comes up the back there. Formerly with Melton Keynes Speedway, but now concentrates on his grass track effort. Third this year in the European final. What a, what a runoff for that, what a runoff it was. From wheel in the air then, Trevor Banks. Starts his flying lap, throws the bike sideways into that turn, cracks the motor on. Rudy powers very fast out of that turn, putting his head down and feet back, long track style as he goes up that straight. Very quick motor he's got in there. Bang, cracks the motor on into that turn, puts his head down, and fast on surely for Trevor Banks. And indeed, just a little bit faster there on 22.59 seconds for Trevor Banks. 22.59. I'm not sure it could be Peter Lloyd going up that back straight, do we? Long distance away and no side number. That looks to me like Peter Lloyd. Rider. Number four it is. Very wide out of that turn, but he's coming up to the line. Jarba mounted. Number four, Peter Lloyd. Flipping the throttle into that turn and winding it up out of it. Very spectacular rider, Peter Lloyd. Been around for quite a large number of seasons, a former British champion. Right out of that turn, holds it tighter this time, really winding her power up, puts his head down, crosses the line. Peter Lloyd's time, 24.07, so Trevor Banks holds on to an advantage at the moment. Peter Lloyd, 24.07. At the moment, it's Trevor Banks, but what's Will James going to do? The Cornish Flyer from down there in Cornwall. Truly a national field here this afternoon. We've got riders from all over the country. Will James, the man said, I'm not English. Full flight. Bright yellow. The Wasp chassis. Throws that bike sideways into that turn. Looking good at this moment in time. Cuts a nice, neat line around that corner and powers up the next straight. It's interesting to watch what line they take when they haven't got to defend their position or attack anybody. pleasing to the eye of those bright yellow colours. Will James on the GM Wasp. <coughs> That's some very close times here, and that was 23.46 for Will James. 23.46 for Will James. Joe Screen does his speedway at Bellevue, Manchester. And has come all the way down from there this afternoon to be here with us at the Battle of Britain. Sorry, Battle of Hastings. Battle of Hastings, I should get sold off for that later by Graham, I expect. Battle of Britain is a number of things. Joe Green. Nice white. I'll notice I'll just look at him come down there in those bright white letters. Chawa mounted. Chawa power. Very quick round that corner indeed. He certainly think, looks like he's going places. The front wheel pawing the air as he comes out of that turn. His head's down, long track style as he comes into the turn there. Absolutely flat out. Just look at the spectacular action there from Joe Street. Well, he's just set the time to beat, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Screen on 22. 
22.15 seconds. 22.15 seconds. On the line is then Simon Wig. Third in this year's Masters. World Long Track finalist again. Previous three times winner of the World Long Track Championships. Leaves the line. Front wheel up in the air, just look at that wheelie. Mono wheeling action from Simon Wig. Down the straight he comes in full flight. Simon Wig again, shower mounted. Throws a bit of a wobbler into that turn and goes very wide, but he's really got the power on. He's really quick round that turn. Simon Wig with his head down there on the front wheel in the air. Perfect balance. Ranks the motor on. Beautiful presentation from Simon Wig. Simon Wig on. And Simon Wig's time, 22.55 seconds. So, 100 pounds better off for his attempt. Number 17, Joe Screen, wins the flying lap, sponsored by Sims Plant of Charing, to the tune of 100 pounds. And it was 22.15 seconds for Joe Screen. Ready to go. We should have had some sidecar late practice, but uh, it's not to be. Mark Wadsworth goes in this one. Also, Kevin Lanchester, Terry Howe, Julian Phipps, Jeff Sims is an on-starter, and they are away. And it's Mark Wadsworth straight away from the tapes. Gets his head down. Tommy Palmer's initial one in this one in place of Jeff Sims. Mark Wadsworth is on the Honda Great Britain. In the lead. From Craven Arms, followed by Kevin Lanchester, Julian Phipps, Tommy Palmer, Brian Cornelius, and Red Flags out for some reason or other. Past. Or blasts from the past, I should say. <laughs> uh, past, past blasters. <laughs> Back to the line. I don't know what the reason was for that stoppage, but uh, it's Julian Phipps, Brian Cornelius, Terry Howe, Robin Pilcher, Mark Wadsworth, Wayne Andrews, and Kevin Lanchester. And uh, Tommy Palmer, as I said, in place of. Jeff Sims. The second time and they're away. And once again it's Mark Wadsworth from the tapes takes the lead. Brian Cornelius coming up there very quickly, but it's Mark Wadsworth. Followed by Terry Howe. Kevin Lanchester. Out of the corner. It's Mark Wadsworth. It's Kevin Lanchester. Terry Howe. Brian Cornelius. Tommy Palmer. Julian Phipps. Robin Pilcher. And Wayne Andrews bringing up the rear. Mark Wadsworth it is on his Honda Britain. He doesn't know whether he'd be riding Honda next year. He hasn't spoken to anybody yet, but uh, he's had a very good season on the Honda. Won the 250 British Champions for the 10th time. Out of the lead from Kevin Lanchester, Tommy Palmer and Terry Howe, and Brian Cornelius and Julian Phipps, Robin Pilcher and Wayne Andrews bringing up the rear. Mark Wadsworth all the way from Craven Arms, up there in the Midlands. Winds it on round that corner, coming up now to take these last lap flags. Ahead of Kevin Lanchester, Tommy Palmer on the Westlake Honda from Terry Howe, Brian Cornelius, Julian Phipps, Robin Pilcher, and still bringing up the rear, Wayne Andrews. Looks as though he might have a bit of problems. Kevin Lanchester closing on Mark Wadsworth as he go up that back straight for the last time. Into the top end. Mark Wadsworth no from there, but he's taking it in for easy. Hanging on for his first win of the afternoon. A win for Mark Wadsworth and Kevin Lanchester. Tommy Palmer, Terry Howe. Brian Cornelius, Julian Phipps. Robin Pilcher. And Wayne Andrews. Over to Martin for the results. And in eighth place, 228. Wayne Andrews. The winner's time, 1 minute 36.52. By number only, 344. 143, 21, 32, 48, 73, 174, and 228. Winner's time, 1 minute 36.52.
over to Don for race two. Yes, in race two we've got John Dormer who's having his last 250 ride of the season here today before he turns over to 500s for next year and they're away. And from the tapes, it's not John Dormer, it's Dean Camia and... It's not Dean Camia even. John Dormer comes up to take the inside line and get into the corner and out of the corner first. Dean Camia followed by Ian Rutter, Carl Wilkes. Still Darren, but it's John Dormer, second in the 250 British Championships this year, having his final fling on the 250 for this year. Out to do well here again today. In the lead from Ian Rutter. Young Carl Wilkes. From Calvert. Having an extremely good season. On the inside of Ian Rutter there. But it's still John Dormer. John Dormer in the lead from Ian Rutter. Carl Wilkes. Then back in fourth place, Steve Deer. And then a long way back. We've got... The leader coming round there being challenged there, but he's still holding on as he comes up to take the last lap. It's John Dormer from Ian Rutter, Carl Wilkes, Steve Deeran, Roy Gom. That's John Pilcher on Roy Gom's, yes, I was going to say, it's uh, Roy Gom's number. Still John Dormer doing a little wheelie up that back straight into the corner for the last time. Still being chased by Ian Rutter. Ian Rutter is good at all his bikes up for sale. Ian Rutter's got trouble, I think. It's a win for John Dormer from Carl Wilkes, Steve Deeran, John Porcher, and a close one there is Ian Rutter's chain off and back wheels locked solid as he crosses the line. Over to Martin for the results. Base number 120, Jamie Pantry, and in 8th base number 66, Steve King. The winner's time was 1 minute 35.48. By number only, 76, 248, 433, 36, 139, 9, 120, and 66. No ninth finisher, the winner's time, 1 minute 35.48. Over to Dom for race three. Yes, we've got Arthur Livings, who's been at it over 20 years in this one, and they're away, and it looks like Richie Knight from the start, who aims to do well here today. Richie Knight it is. Richie Knight, the local, one of the local lads in the lead from Dean Camier, then Jason Scott, then Terry Giles. Richie Knight powers it on, being chased by Dean Camier. Richie Knight got a very fast fight there, worked it up with takes it easy around the corners still being followed by Dean Camier Terry Giles now in third from Jason Stott then Mark Giles then Arthur Livings and then Alan Dan bringing up the rear but it's Richie Knight who's setting the pace in this one Dean Camier can't catch him but having said that he closes on the corners as Richie Knight comes up now to take the last lap day followed by Dean Camier Terry Giles Jason Scott, Mark Giles, Arthur Livings, the old hand at it, and then Alan Dan. Still the position the same down that back straight as they go into the corner for the last time. It's Richie Knight. How's it on out of it? Still being followed by Dean Camier. So it's a win for Richie Knight from Dean Camier in second, then Terry Giles, then Jason Scott. Mark Giles, Arthur Livings, and bringing up the rear, Alan Dan. Over to Martin for the official results. And late practice now for Mick Cameron, and that does look like Kevin Simmons on the side there. Not sure where Paul Randall is. Paul on the holiday this afternoon, so it's Mick Cameron with. I'm fairly sure that that is Kevin Simmons sitting on the side. Mick Cameron then with uh, Kevin Simmons on the chair there. It's obviously uh, And the 
this last minute and practice is a good way of doing that. But I'm sure Mick Cameron will be in amongst them all afternoon as he generally is. There goes the chequered flag. Close the practice for Mick Cameron and Kevin Simmons. To the line to do battle in race number four. Well, good to see that uh, Steve Jewison is out again. He was very quick in the Masters. And uh, after all his uh, accidents and injuries, it's good to see him still campaigning and coming back out with Dave Ward in the chair. <coughs> Steve Jewison and Dave Ward with a Miller Drifter, Gotten V Twin. Steve from Purley in Essex and Dave Ward from Peterborough. Takes fly in the first sidecar race of the afternoon gets underway. Fast start from number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny with Steve Dewis and Dave Ward. Hot on their heels with number one, Rob Cameron there in third place. Paul Pitbull. Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny lead, Steve Dewis and Dave Ward tuck in behind them. So the 1000cc Kawasaki leads the V-twin Drifter gets up on the inside. It's neck and neck as they come up for the box, but Steve Dewison now takes the advantage. So it's Steve Dewison from Tim Bennett, from Rob Cameron, from Very, very fast for Tim Bennett. You need a few tactics to ride around this track on the uphill, downhill. Steve Jewison and Dave Ward seem to have those tactics. Tom Tim Bennett and Jason Benny holding it in second place. Paul Pinfold's got past in the third. Now goes up the inside of Tim Bennett. Tim Bennett holds a splendor advantage there in second place, but Steve Jewison is absolutely gone. Steve Jewison and Dave Ward take the last lap flag. Paul Pinfold and Steve Robbins just got up into second place. Tim Bennett and Jason Benny drop back to third. Neil Rob Cameron and Murph Smith are half Tim Bennett and Jerry Adams have gone into the ropes on the bottom turn. Red flags indeed are up. I think the result will stand at the end of the third leg. Official confirmation in just a moment. Bath up there for Jerry Adams and Sean Pitter. I must admit I was looking up the other end of the circuit when it happened, but uh, we've lost Jerry Adams and Sean Pitter into the ropes. Down there on the pit turn. There you go down very well. Hand you over to Martin for the race five right hand side cars again. Race five and another superb line up here we have number two. Neville Penfold and John Mitten. Number six, Russell Ng and Paul Uriots. Number 13, John Halsey and Chris Skipper. Number 60, Bob and Paul Baseby. Number 99, Pete Colvin. And I'm not sure, probably Adam Coper Smith. 60, Bob Baseby. Bob and Paul Baseby, the Baseby brothers, lead up into the first turn. A fantastic start from them. A very quick outfit indeed. Russelling and Paul Urias coming up into third place. But it's run away at the moment for number 60, Bob and Paul Baseby, as they come out of that turn, throwing that bike up the straight. Number 60, Bob and Paul Baseby lead from number 6, Russelling and Paul Urias. Then number 2, Neville Penfold and John Minton. Then Chris Hatton, skipper. Time with the driver. Pete Colvin and Adam Cobra Smith bringing up the rear. Big battle there in the midfield as Paul Penfold goes a little bit wide and John Halsey gets up on the inside. It's number 60 then, Paul and Paul Baseby that lead. From Russelling and Paul Urias in second. Then John Halsey and Chris Skipper, then Neville Penfold and John Mitten. Just as Bob thought he got it all his own way, Russell Ng starts to show that he's there. Ng racing with that Kawasaki, very tight round that turn, and Bob and Paul Baseby still lead. They take the last lap flag. Russell Ng and Paul Urich right on their heels. A little 
way back then for John Hall, the Eucharist skipper, then never went on. Luckhurst was about here just now. I don't know where he's gone now, but uh, uh, we'll have him along to give us a song in a minute. Um, nice to see you, Reg, wherever you are. I did see your, your grey hair, um, like mine, going grey, but uh, 20 years ago you was at the Paramount Trophy, and uh, I've got the programme here to prove it. Over to Martin. Race number six, then. Features number three, Alan and John Blewett. Number nine, Martin Baker and Shane Can. 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. 151, Mick Cameron and Kevin Simmons. And 82, Stephen Turner and Tony Baisley. Again, a superb lineup, very impressive lineup here. Non starter, Chris Etheridge. So, five outfits. So, up there, number 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones seem to have the advantage into that first turn. Still the British Masters, but uh, back out with a vengeance here this afternoon, and round the turn they come. 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones lead from father and son team, Alan and John Lewis in second place, then Martin Baker and Shane Cam, then Mick Cameron and Kevin Simmons, then Stephen Turner. And they're really, really getting down to it. And getting down to it the most at the moment is number 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. From the father and son team of Alan and John Blewett. The positions remaining unchanged in this one. Another finer incident that thing with Whopper, but it's not deferred in one bit. He's really tight round that turn. He comes up to see the last lap flag in front of him. Just one lap to go for Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. Alan and John Blewett. Martin Baker and Shane Cam, Mick Cameron and Kevin Simmons. Rob Wilson has got a good lead at the moment over Alan and John Blewett. So Rob Wilson and Vince Jones come up now, take the chequered flag, their first win of the afternoon. Rob Allen and John Blewett in second. Martin Baker and Shane Cam, Mick Cameron and Kevin Simmons. And Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. Another superb fine car race and a good start to finish one win for number 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. Over to Don for the official result. 9, 151, 82, no six finisher, winner's time 1 minute 46.25 seconds. And just to let everybody know that um, the the chips from the fish and chip van are nice and big, uh, very tasty, and uh, real chips, not your uh, sort of microwave stuff. They are nice. So uh, 
thoroughly recommend the chips for this afternoon. And I think the uh, the uh, loudspeaker technicians are also sampling them as well and uh, agreeing with that. Oh, and the beer. Oh, you're only there for the beer, I see. <laughs> oh, dear. I can remember a few years ago, Martin, we used to do this and uh, it used to be for seafood. Over to Martin. Yes, the chips are certainly more it's just like the grass track action. We'd always do with some more of this. And another sidecar lineup leaves the line. And it looked like number 71, Mark Wells, that went up into the first turn. Marshall scatter on that turn. So Mark Wells and Kevin Jarvis it was that led, but uh, they've now been overhauled by Ivor Matthews and Mick Dowles. You remember they had a late practice to iron out their bugs. They've gone very wide and they've taken Mark Wells with them. The other three are very tight in and Roger Mieser comes up into second place. Roger Mieser obviously missed the start of that one and he's now up into second place. Mark Wells and Keenan Jarvis holding third place there. Round the turn they come and they're getting it really wound up. Number 15, Ivor Matthews and McDowell's from number 51, Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey. Then Mark Wells and Keenan Jarvis. Roger Ashbourne in the chair. So, number 15, Ivan Matthews goes very wide, takes the last lap flag, and now Roger Meter comes within striking distance. On their last lap, and it's 87, Richard Jenner. Ivor Matthews holds the tight line, Roger Mieser squeezes up on the inside, the run up to the line is there and they're side by side, it just goes to Roger Mieser. Not sure that Roger Mieser's got a, picked up a puncture or something, the chair wheel looks a bit dodgy, might just be the mudguard, but it certainly looks like uh, something happening there to Roger Mieser's outfit. But nonetheless, a brilliant win for number 51, Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey. Great, coming up. And a superb lineup. 111, Jason Hilliard. 165, Jason Jennett. 68, Alan Farmer. 31, Chris Tritt. Number 2, Trevor Banks. 04, Ricky Sanford. 10, Darren Sutton. 133 takes the place of 14. That's 133, Jeff Sims takes the place of number 14, John Cook. Then we get number 8, Vincent Kinchin. And number 75, Jimmy Penfold. That's the lineup for race 8. On the line now. The red flag's up at the moment. Well, a slight hold up while they uh, have some pegs knocked in on the top turn. Riders being held on the line for a moment or two. The red flags go down, the riders come into line. I can see Vincent Kinchin now, one of the last men to come into line. Obviously stayed back with it in neutral, not going to burn out the clutch. And away go the riders. Trevor Banks it is, the brakes from the pack. Heads the field up that first straight. So, Trevor Banks goes into the wrong position. Trevor Banks from Alan Farmer, from Chris Tripp and Darren Sutton, Vincent Kinchin, well down the field at the moment. Then Ricky Sanford, another man that I saw up at uh, Arena Essex last night. Not riding though, he was only spectating, but he was there. Chris Tritt back in third, then Darren Sutton, then Vincent Kinchin, Ricky Sanford. So the position
positions remaining mostly unchanged. Vincent Kenshin trying to take Darren Sun and that strike now as he comes up alongside. Uh, Trevor Banks has got the lead. Trevor Banks has come to the fourth here and just over his shoulder again. Just one match from victory. Trevor Banks from Alan Palmer. From this trip. Vincent Kenshin has got past Darren Sutton and it's uh, Ricky Sanford. So Trevor Banks has got the big lead on there. shaves there on the finish line in the minor placings. 165, Jason Jeanette. No other finishes. Winner's time, 1 minute 28.73 seconds. 2, 68, 31, 8, 10, 04, 133, 165. No ninth or tenth. Winner's time, 1 minute 28.73 seconds. Over to Martin for race 9. Race 9 down there then, on the line. Another good lineup, 161, Mike Webster, 86, Paul Hurry, 21, Tom Palmer. No 214, John Wilson, unfortunately. Number 4, Peter Lloyd, 17, Joe Screen, 74, Duncan Tollis, 46, Will James, and 66, Steve King. They leave the line, and it's Paul Hustle Hurry that leads. Paul Hurry goes into the first turn first. Joe Screen now comes around the outside. Duncan Tollis back in third place. Joe Screen goes very wide. Paul Hurry holds on, but no, it's Joe Screen that takes up the advantage on that Jawa. From Paul Hurry, Paul Hurry in determined mode, chasing after Joe Screen. Joe Screen, Paul Hurry, Duncan Tollis, Will James, Tommy Palmer, and Peter Lloyd. And the race is around that turn, they come to Joe Screen, on coming to find him. Look over his shoulder, see where Paul Hurry is. And Paul Hurry's right there in second place, Duncan Tollis and Will James fight for third position. Will James takes the advantage there, so is Joe Screen. Paul Hurry, Will James, and Duncan Tollers, Tommy Palmer, and Peter Lloyd. Peter Lloyd's not having a very good day. Round number 17, Joe Screen. 1086, Paul Hurry, then 46, Will James, 74, Duncan Tollers, 21, Tommy Palmer, number 4, Peter Lloyd. And a long way back from Mike Webster. Joe Screen now pulling wheelies as he goes, and Paul Hurry says I can do that as well. Will James making up ground now in third place. Back to Tom Palmer. Tom Palmer is outside against Joe Green in full flight. Takes that checkered flag for his first win of the afternoon. So Joe Screen opens his account to win the winner's time. 1 minute 28 seconds. Joe Green wins the race. Number 4, Paul Hurry. Number 3, Tom Palmer. Number 4, Will James. And number 5, Peter Lloyd. Number 6, Paul Hurry. Number 7, Joe Screen. Number 8, Will James. And number 9, just the first few races of 500cc action and already we've had a feast. And number one, Simon Wick goes in this one. Simon Wick takes the position early on. Those two are doing better. Aaron over that turn. Some a little bit wide, but he's in the front. Being hotly pursued by number seven, Gary Lobb, then 215, Steve Wilson. And number 25, Dave, David Steen. So Simon Wiggett is that leads. Pulls that front wheel in the air. Anything Joe Screen can do, we can do as well. Round up, Simon Wiggett. Straight that front wheel in the air. Wiggett wheeling from one end of the straight to the other. Then Gary Lobb in second place. Then David Steen. Then Steve Wilson. And a fight there with David Mears. Four fifth spot. Brian Cornelius on his trusted jack bringing up the rear. Down there, Simon Wiggett, full flight. The last match made Joe Screen. Again, he's from one end of the straight to the other. Then Gary Lobb. Then David Steen. Then Simon Wiggett. Then Gary Lobb. Then Simon Wiggett. Then Gary Lobb. Then Gary Lobb. Then David Steen. Steve Wilson. Stuart Dempsey. David Mears. And Paul Mitchell. Robin Pilcher. And Brian Cornelius. Well, Simon Wiggett certainly lapping it up here this afternoon. Be interesting to compare his time. He's certainly got a ginormous seat. He's not going to be number one goal. Uh, Rocks the line for a win. Simon Wick wins. Gary Lobb with a win in second. Then David Steen. Then Steve Wilson. Stuart Dempsey. Paul Mitchell. David Mears. Robin Felcher. And Brian Cornelius. 
and uh, Dean Camier on nine points, and Tommy Palmer, Steve Deeran and Terry Giles all with eight points. This is after the first leg. So it's interesting to see we've got Dean Camier, Terry Giles, David Mears, Jason Stott, Steve King, Alan Dan, Ian Rutter in this one. So uh, it should be a good one. They're on the line for the race 11, which is the first heat of the second leg of the 250s. And they're away. And from the break, it looks like Ian Rutter. Ian Rutter it is there. Dean Camier coming up there very quickly. Jason Scott there. Ian Rutter in the lead from Jason Scott. Then Dean Camier, then Terry Giles, then David Mears, Steve King and Alan Dan bringing up the rear. It is Ian Rutter in the lead being chased by Jason Stott. Watch young Dean Camier coming out there very quickly on his very fast Honda. Terry Giles also on another Honda in full place as the leader. Ian Rutter comes out of the corner, full chat on with Jason Stott chasing Dean Camier, Terry Giles, David Mears, Stephen King and a long way back Alan Dan as Jason Stott tries to get past Ian Rutter who's really trying hard. But it's Ian Rutter, the very tall young man from up in the Midlands, somewhere up that way. Being chased by Jason Stott and they're very close. Ian Rutter the inside line, Jason Stott the outside line, but watch this, Jason Stott comes through to take the lead from Ian Rutter. So it's Jason Stott from Kidderminster in Worcestershire, but he's only there for a moment. As Ian Rutter gets it back and they're all closing there as they come up to take that checker flag. It's going to be a close one. Just for Ian Rutter from Jason Stock, Dean Camier, Terry Giles, David Mears, Stephen King. Right, I hear the sound of music to my ears, the 252 strokes. And uh, so we've got Mark Giles, Terry Howe. The old man himself, Arthur Living, still going strong. Julian Phipps, Kevin Lanchester, Richie Knight, Wayne Andrews and Robin Pilcher. So this should be a good one. And they're away. Once again, Richie Knight gets a good start, but Wayne Andrews right alongside him. But it's Richie Knight who takes the lead from Wayne Andrews. Then Kevin Lanchester. And Terry Howe. Richie Knight already with one win this afternoon in the lead. From Kevin Lanchester, Wayne Andrews, Terry Howe, Julian Phipps, Arthur Livings, Mark Giles and Robin Pilcher bringing up the rear on this ever faithful four stroke. Richie Knight setting the pace, pulling away slightly from Kevin Lanchester as they go up that back straight into the top end. Wayne Andrews making up a lot of ground as he goes into that top end. But it's Richie Knight. With his Suzuki from Kevin Lanchester. Wayne Andrews, Terry Howell, Mark Giles, Julian Phipps, Arthur Livings on his ever faithful Bull Taco and then Robin Pilcher bringing up the rear. And down that back straight is still Richie Knight in the lead. Increasing his lead slightly from Kevin Lanchester as he comes up now to take the last back flag. Followed by Kevin Lanchester, Wayne Andrews, Terry, jo Terry Howe, Mark Charles, Arthur Livings, Julian Phipps and Robin Pilcher. The riders getting spread out makes it easy for the lap scorers but it's Richie Knight into the bend for the last time. Slowly in, winds it on, powers it out and coming up now to take the checkered flag. A win for Richie Knight from Kevin Lanchester, Wayne Andrews, Terry Howe and Mark Giles. Close one there, Julian Phipps, Arthur Livings and Robin Pilcher. 7th place, 71 Arthur Livings. 8th place, 174 Robin Pilcher. 1 minute, 36.17. Time number only from the top, 229, 143, 228, 32, 26, 73, 
71.174. Winner's time, 1 minute 36.17. You know what I reckon, Don? We left out that fish and chip, Logan. We got some fish and chips. We should have left the pub out, really. <laughs> Cheering up, sir. You are awful. <laughs> but I like you. Over to Don. Good race, right. there, Right. Um, well, Andy would be kept very busy this afternoon knocking in the track markers down this finishing straight here. But uh, this is going to be the test. John Dormer, already a win this afternoon. And obviously Mark Wadsworth already with, with a win with young Carl Wilkes and Steve Deeran, John Pilcher, Brian Cornelius, Alan Carman. No, Alan Carman's a non-starter. Um, Jeff Sims is a non-starter, but Tommy Palmer takes his place. So, can't see the reason for the hold-up now. Right. And they're away, and it's John Dormer on their far side, gets a good break, so does Mark Wadsworth on the inside. But it's Mark Wadsworth takes the lead from Steve Thera, John Dormer, and then young Carl Will. Carl Will comes up there very quickly on the inside, but it's Mark Wadsworth doing the pace from Carl Wilkes and John Dormer. Mark Wadsworth got everything to do here because uh, he's the man they're all trying to beat. Mark Woodsworth in the lead from Carl Wilkes and John Dormer. John Torcher going well in fourth place as Carl Wilkes gets by Mark Woodsworth. John Dormer's right alongside. And it's John Dormer right alongside Mark Woodsworth. John taking the lead from Mark Woodsworth with Carl Wilkes, John Torcher, Steve Deeran. And this is a battle for the 250. It's only the second leg. But John Dormer now taking the lead and Increasing it slightly as Mark Wadsworth closes again oh, as he goes into the top end. Mark Wadsworth on the inside, John Dormer on the outside. It's Mark Wadsworth and John Dormer. John Dormer just starting the last lap ahead of Mark Wadsworth. What a battle this is. Carl Wilkes still holding well on in third there, but it's John Dormer heading the 250 British champion. Mark Wadsworth certainly closes on John in the corners and John is out to do well here today in his last 250 rides. And he goes a bit wide on the top end. He comes down very close and it's a win for John Dormer. For Mark Wadsworth, Carl Wilk, John Porcher, Steve Deeran, Brian Cornelius and Jamie Pantry. And the last man to come round not having such a good race. He's been doing so well with that 250 Westlake Honda is young Tommy Palmer. 48. 120 and 21, 1 minute 35.34 seconds, and that is the fastest time so far in the 250cc class. So John Dormer stamps his authority on the 250 class this afternoon. Leading in now to the right hand side cars, and in this one we get John Halsey and Chris Skipper, Martin Baker and Shane Can, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones, a previous heat winner here this afternoon, 87 Richard Jenner and Nick Waters, and number two, Neville Penfold and John Mitten. They leave the line, they come up towards the commentary box for the first time, and it's a brilliant start again by number 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones, in hot pursuit there, number 87, Richard Jenner and Nick Waters, number two. Second place, and... It's all systems go round that bottom turn, those outfits getting very, very close together, but uh, 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones got an impressive lead. From number two, Neville Penfold and John Minton, and number 13, John Halsey and Chris Skipper. front though, the 1000 V-Twin got number 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones, Ben Neville Penfold and John Mitten. Those positions remaining unchanged as they come heavily round that turn. The last lap flag goes. It's 24. Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. Rob Wilson and John Mitten. John Wilson 
Chris Skipper, Martin Baker and Shane Cann and then... Up they come in the checkered flag goes. A win there for Rob Wilson. In second place, Neville Penfold. Then Chris Skipper. Sorry, John Hall's here, Chris Skipper. Um, broke the zip on his uh, leathers and he had to change his leathers a bit quick there. So thank you, Jenny, for that. Um, and number nine. Martin Baker and Shane Can have got engine problems and won't be taking part for the rest of the afternoon. Over to Martin as they're ready for the off. Race 15 is then on the line they are. Six of the top outfits of the country leaving the line now. 51, Roger Beza. Second again in this year's British Masters Championship. And second place. And I can see Rob Cameron and Smurf Smith in there as well. So they all tighten up around that turn and they're coming up there very fast. It's 51, Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey from 99 feet. Colvin Adam, Cooper Smith, then Gary Jackson and Matthew Cumarova, then Rob And he's heading for a win this time as well. 51, Roger Mieser. 99, Pete Colwyn. Then Gary Jackson, then Smurf Smith. And bring up the river, mate. Well, the last lap flag now being hoisted in front of number 51, Roger Mieser. Surely one of the favourites to take the Battle of Hastings this afternoon. Then Gary Jackson put in a good second place. Rob Cameron and Noggy going out with Bob making the dust fly down there. The checkered flag goes up for him. A win, the second of the afternoon for Roger Mieser and Steve Bailey. Followed by Gary Jackson and Matthew Fumarola. Then 99, Pete Colvin and Adam Cobus Smith. Alan Murray and Shooter Acorn bring up the rear. Bad luck there for Rob Cameron and Steve Smith. They seem to be heading straight back through the pit. For race number 16, I'll hand you over to Martin for a resume. Race number 16 then, and a previous race winner in this one is number four, Steve Jewison and Dave Ward. Steve Jewison and Dave Ward riding there on number four. In with them are number six, another previous race winner, Russelling and Paul Uritz. 151, Mick Cameron and Kevin Simmons. Number 60 went ever so well in that first leg, Bob Baseby and Paul Baseby, the Baseby brothers. And also another fast starter, number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. Unfortunately, just been told that Tommy Palmer's got mechanical failure and will be unable to take any further part on his 250 this afternoon. So, Tom Palmer out of the 250 class this afternoon. So, off that start line. Another superstar for number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glenny. Right in on the pegs he goes, very tight in there indeed. Roughly and They can run right around the outside. Steve Jewison has gone around the outside. But has he got enough motor to get there? Those three outfits are now side by side as they come past. But Steve Jewison takes the advantage. Then Russellbeck squeezes through into second place. And Tim Bennett gets relegated to third. An extra squirt of throttle and gets away from the opposition. Steve Jewison and Dave Ward in full flight. Drifts a little bit wide there, but leave no room at all. Steve Jewison.
Johnson and Dave Ward lead. Rustling Coyurius in second. Tim Bennett chasing Benny now in third. Bob and Paul Bainsby keeping up. Well, round they come hard. Tight on those pegs. The last lap flag goes for Steve Hewison and Dave Ward. Russelling and Paul Urich seem to have no answer, but Holden is 30 seconds. Tim Bennett's third place is in danger. As they all go into that turn, very tight. Oh, Big on the Tim Bennett gets relegated to last place. Meanwhile, out in front, he'll take the checkered flag. We have number four, Steve Jewison and Dave Ward. In the second place, Russelling and Paul Urich. So now the fight for third goes to Mick Cameron and Kevin Simmons, then Bob ba and Paul Baseby, and then Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. I think Tim Bennett lost his chain there as he rolls onto the centre green. Bad luck there for Tim Bennett. Fantastic win again for number four, Steve Jewison and Dave Ward. Tim Murad makes such fantastic starts and uh, in fifth place there was number 12, Tim Bennett and Jason Glennie. Winner's time was 1 minute 43.77 seconds. Again, 4, 6, 1, 5, 1, 60 and 12. Winner's time, 1 minute 43.77 seconds. Over to Martin for race 17. And race number 17 it is. Another good line up here with number 82, Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. Number 11, taking the place of 92, we have Paul Pinfold. And Steve Robbins. 71, Mark Wells and Keevan Jarvis. Number 3, Alan and John Blewett. And number 15, Ivan Matthews and Mick Dowers. They are the ones that line up on the line. <laughs> Leaving the line and up they come. 71 then, Mark Wells and Keevan Jarvis lead into the first turn. But uh, Ivan Matthews and Mick Dowers come by and then... But look at the flying Stefan Turner coming up alongside there. Right up alongside Paul Pinfold, but didn't quite have enough to do it. Gets a little bit of a biff from Mark Wells there, but they're all okay and they're coming round. 15, Ivan Matthews and Mick Dowles. Then 82, Stefan Turner and Tony Baysby taking Paul Pinfold and Steve Robbins. The fight is on there for their second place. Don't forget the man out in front, Ivan Matthews and Mick Dowles. They are leading this one, but there's a big battle going on for second place, and they're really coming round there, hell for leather. Ivan Matthews and Mick Dowles lead. Then it's Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. Then Paul Pinfold seems to have been trouble. Paul Pinfold and Steve Robbins drop back as Alan and John Bluey come through. Onto the trail on Stephen Turner. Tony Baseby from 7 -0. They're in second place. Bit of trouble there for Paul Pinfold at the back. Last lap play goes. Ivan Matthews and Mick Dales out on their own. Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby still already good second place. And Alan and John Blewett really mean the business as they go into that turn. Trying to go around the outside. Ivan Matthews and Nick Dales. Didn't Alan John Bowie go flying past Stephen Turner on that last entrance to the last turn? Ivan Matthews and Mick Dales take the checkered flag. Look at the battle coming up there for second. Alan and John Bowie just get it. Stephen Turner and Tony Bowie, a credible third for them. Mark Wells and Keevan Jarvis. And unfortunately with problems at the rear. Number 11, Paul Pinvold and Steve Robbins. Definitely problems for them. Motor blowing out smoke at several stages of that race. Well, what a race that was. A big battle for that second place. And it eventually went to Alan and John Blewett. Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby gave it their all, but couldn't quite overhaul the experience and speed of Alan and John Blewett. Over to Don for the official result. Yes, another great race there for race 17. Got all lined up in here now. Uh, what with Sherry and Beer, we uh, shall know what we're doing by the end of the day. Cheers and thanks very much. The old King John of Awe. Oh, Anne's only got lemonade. Oh, well, uh, thank you all the same.
we go to the 500cc solo. So you all sit here and get inebriated and miss the start. Simon Wick leads from 46. Will Jones there in second place. I think that's the first time I've seen him for his wide. Will's hanging on in there. It's from the wing. From Will Jones, from Steve Wilson, Duncan Tullers, Tommy Palmer. And the race continues. So is Simon Wig, the man who's won it all in grass tracks, he's done very well in this place. from Cornwall for this afternoon. Will James holding a good second spot. Steve Wilson, local man, holding third. And Duncan Potter, another local. Galvin, the driver, holding fourth. So, number one, Simon Wiggins starts to win the game. Dancing last man. He's already set the fastest time of the afternoon. And now he's setting the pace yet again. He's got all day, he can wheelie from one end of the straight to the other and still set the fastest time of the afternoon. Around then, turning comes, the checker play goes, there goes that front wheel, another win for Simon Wig. Second place then, very credible one there for Will James. Third, Steve Wilson, all sunk of colours, in fifth Tommy Palmer, then Peter Lloyd, Stuart Dempsey. <laughs> In 8th place, 139, David Mears. And in 9th place, 174, Robin Pilcher. Winner's time, 1 minute 26.39 seconds. Again, 1, 46, 215, 74, 21, 4, 12, 139 and 174. Winner's time, 1 minute 26.39 seconds. <laughs>